Something about the north keeps drawing me. Maybe it's the silence and solitude that often accompanies it. Or perhaps the serenity of the boreal forest, where every simple thing seems so grand. I think a lot of the pull for me has to do with the vastness, these less touched places of wilderness. The Allagash caught our attention, being a sort of first of its kind. The state of Maine first recognized the importance of preserving this waterway as a wilderness river in 1966. Four years later, the federal government granted the state's request to designate the Allagash as a wild river under the National Wild and Scenic Rivers Act while remaining under state administration, thus becoming America's first federally protected state-managed wild river. Putting in at Johnson Pond, our plan is to follow Allagash Stream till it empties into Chamberlain Lake, then through Eagle and Churchill Lakes to the headwaters of the Allagash River. From there, we'll follow its course north till the Allagash merges with the St. John River on the Canadian border. If all goes to plan, we'll take out at the town of Fort Kent, Maine, 11 days from now. We've spent the past year researching, poring over maps, and upgrading our gear. This will be our longest wilderness trip to date. We know it's going to test our endurance, but we were looking for a challenge. Now all that stands between us and our put-in is a 35-hour drive. Okay, night one of the road trip portion of our trip to Maine. We are um, just outside of St. Louis. Today we're gonna try to get somewhere in Connecticut and then um, tomorrow all the way to our put-ins. So, yep, another long day on the road. Well, we finally made it to Johnson Pond. It's raining. What was supposed to be a 10 hour drive today quickly turned into a 15 hour drive as we got to the main North Woods. We uh, got our permits, got everything settled, and then um, basically went in to find Johnson Pond, which has a lot of little like side trails to get into it and ended up just off-roading a bunch of gnarly trails until finally like 10 p.m. we finally found the right one um, so we're here now tomorrow we'll be on the water a little bit behind but nothing too crazy all right first morning of the actual travel portion of our trip yeah, first morning of getting to canoe yeah so we made it to um, Johnson Pond last night we're here um, we're just kind of sitting out some rain, making some breakfast, um, filtering some water, and then hopefully get on the water here before too long as the rain dies down. So that's the plan anyways. We'll see um, kind of what the day has in store. You ready?
this might be the point where we uh, meet up with the other stream, huh? Looks like it could all be coming in from back behind us here. It's a little deep there, huh? Woo. Oh yeah. So we can probably start paddling here. Yeah. This is probably where it meets up. Yeah. All right, let's do it. through this creek, Allagash Creek, and uh, scouting ahead right now, trying to find a little Allagash Falls. Looks like we've still got a little ways to go. day two. We're camped on Little Allagash Falls um, on Little Round Pond about halfway down Allagash Stream between Allagash Lake and uh, Chamberlain Lake. Yesterday I put in on Johnson Pond. It was more of a slog through the creek really. Um, more, more dragging than paddling but uh, we made it here and uh, had a good night's sleep. It rained a little bit and uh, we'll just try to get off this morning probably make it up to either Eagle Lake or Churchill Lake is the plan, so we'll see where we get. everything uh, everything we thought and more <laughs> we're probably just gonna need to line this whole stretch here Perfect. yeah this is rough Let her go, 
All right, bit of lining done. Back on the water. Yep. Want to hit that at a good line. Okay, draw, draw, draw. All right, all right. Sweet. That was fun. That was fun. I like that. Can get some more, more paddle time. Less. Uh, Plus lining time, huh? some of this old logging equipment. Never felt more like a cowboy in my life. <laughs> it's like a childhood dream come true. Robbing a train. For sick. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's like nuts that they were using this all the way back here just for like logging wood. I would imagine. Yeah. I'll make sure not to fall off. <laughs> we made it into camp. We're here setting up. Not with a lot of daylight, but just enough to get everything done and head to bed. So yesterday we made it here to Farm Island. Um, I think our goal today is really to just get up here to Churchill. So camping somewhere, probably up on the northern side, um, just so we're close to the dam for tomorrow. Um, and then we can hit the rapids the following morning. So does that sound like a plan to you? Yeah. Cool. Yep.
Just waiting out a little bit of a storm. We got uh, quite the dumping on the water out there. She was sprayed back on real fast, but we're just gonna try to hunker down in the woods until it passes a little bit. So, almost to camp though for the day. Hey, we made it to our campsite after a long day of lake paddling. It's looking real, real good, really, really good. And uh, we cannot wait to dry off after some rain and just a long day of paddling. We got a great beach and a really good view, super close to the dam tomorrow that we're gonna go to and uh, do our uh, river paddle through the rapids. On So tomorrow will be an exciting day.
much earlier this morning than it has been the last couple days, I feel like. This is what it's gonna be most days. Oh. Like, like warmer morning. than this generally, this is kind of the low end, but it'll be closer to this. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Well, we just finished running all the rapids below uh, Churchill Dam. Definitely the most technical rapids I've ever run. A um, lot of boulder gardens, a lot of just fine maneuvering. Um, so definitely something different, which was fun and a challenge. But uh, but yeah, a lot of adrenaline. Fun to get some white water on a mostly flat water trip. We just got into our campsite uh, after doing some rapids and we are very happy to be here. Got an early day, a beautiful, beautiful river behind us and uh, I don't know, just, just happy to be here, tired and cold and ready to dry off. camp set up we are just below uh, the first portion of the Allagash River um, so we ran all the rapids this morning got into camp like one o'clock so pretty early but it's kind of nice having an early afternoon getting into camp setting everything up could really use some sun now it's pretty much rained on us every day at this point um, at some point during the day so just drying some things out would be really nice having an afternoon to just chill and uh, get ready for the rest of the river portion of this trip. This is day six, maybe day five, but uh, we've, uh, I think it was definitely our coldest night. 
There's frost on everything in the morning. I think it was down in the 30s. Um, pretty chilly, but sun's out today. It's fog rolling in, and uh, it's starting to warm up pretty quick. So hoping for a good day of paddling. No rain, hopefully today. And uh, yeah, just try to make a little bit of distance. Gonna try to get to Round Pond today and hopefully stay there for two nights. So that's the goal. What's after these two? Uh, good, good pony, after we get. Okay. So I think we're clear. That seems like a pretty good line. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a rock right there. Nice. Well done.
day six. Whew, yesterday was a long day. Um, paddled a little over 20 miles. Um, we're on Round Pond now. Taking a chill day. We're going to stay two nights here, which will be great. be nice to just get a little um, rest time and just chill. Um, there's a cool hike to like a, an old fire tower across the lake. So we'll probably do that today. And, um, yeah, just take some downtime. It should be pretty good, but it's a beautiful area. working our way up the Round Pond mountain trail. There's an old fire tower on the top of it. And uh, it's about a two mile hike. It's kind of nice to get out, stretch the legs. I'll change up from the paddling routine. Should be really good views from the top of the surrounding area to climb a fire tower. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of nice being in the woods, hiking around. Made it. Oh, it's a longer two miles than it felt like it should have been. But we're here. Now we just gotta get up it. the scariest things I've ever done. Climbing an old fire tower from like, I don't know, decades old. In the middle of the hour. Can't say I'm a huge fan, Whew, but the views are good.
made it to Allagash Falls yesterday, paddled about 22 miles. Planned to stay two nights here, take another chill day. It was pretty cold last night. Um, a ranger said it was gonna be about 21 low. So chill here, kind of enjoy the area, explore the falls, and then try to push hard tomorrow. We've got about 35 miles left of the whole trip. So if we can get some good distance tomorrow, we'll be out on Wednesday, pretty good time. That's the plan anyways.
we're nearing the end of the trip here. Uh, this is the second morning at Allagash Falls. Gonna get out here pretty soon, waiting for the weather to warm up a bit. Uh, should be out either today or tomorrow. Got a lot of distance to cover, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So we've had a couple rangers tell us the water levels on the St. John can be really low and you might be dragging. And that's the last 25 miles of the trip. So just depending on kind of what that's looking like, we may pull out early and uh, and uh, just get a shuttle back to our car or something with an outfitter, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, that's about it. straight through. This marks the end of the Allagash, the beginning of the St. John for us. About 25 miles left, huh? I think so. <laughs> Something like that. We're gonna try and do a lot of it today. Yeah, I think we're pointed well. Okay. Right through here, is there something? Yeah, okay. All right. You're good, you're good. Straight ahead there, so go to the left. Okay. Let's go right. How far right? Um, that was pretty messy. The big one right there. Just a touch to the left of it. Hit to the left here? No, no, no. Just keep going. Okay. is on our right. Got just a little ways further to Fort Kent. All right, well, we are somewhere on the St. John River, about 30 feet from Canada, set up on a gravel bar. It's our last night of the trip. Final night.
We paddled probably 30 miles today. Um, started out at Allagash Falls and uh, by our estimates we've probably got like 10 miles left tomorrow. So hopefully we can crank that out pretty early in the morning, be out midday and uh, start making our way back home. It's our last morning of the trip. We're on this gravel bar island in the middle of the St. John River, about 15 miles from Fort Kent. That's Canada behind me. So we're like literally sitting right on the border. Just finishing up a quick uh, cereal breakfast. We're gonna try to be on the water really quick this morning. It's about, it's a little after seven. And uh, we're gonna just try to crank out some miles. We've got a lot of fog right now. So it's a little chilly. but. Believe it or not, it's still like a 15 degree difference from yesterday. So I'll take like 35 degrees right now. It uh, feels a lot better than 20. This is our chance to sneak into Canada. We're gonna make it quick. Thank you. 